So, I uh, went looking online to find gun sites for my AR-15. And the, about the cheapest quality I was willing to go for was over a hundred dollars. And that got me questioning. How hard could it be to machine my own gun sights? We'll find out. So before I begin, I'm going to need to make a cutter for the Picatinny rail. I'm going to build it out of stainless steel. I'm going to machine it out of um, on the lathe. And with the cutter, I'm trying to make the side cut on aluminum. And that would be the slot for the Picatinny rail. There it is. So I cut it from a piece of stainless steel, sharpened it up, made relief cuts, Let's see what it looks like when it cuts. So that's what the cutter did. So, this is the design I went with. This is the rear sight. That's a whole, straight through hole. Right through the aluminum. And the point of aim would be right through this, the dead center of that hole. And we, are, we have the front sight. The same thing. I have a hole right in the front uh, post. In the front blade. And in the center of that hole is the point of aim. So the idea was you line up that hole and that hole and uh, that would be your point of aim. Here we are. We're getting closer and closer. Give it a little tap, just a little, a little tap to make sure.
finally cut. It took so long to cut this bandsaw. I changed the blades. So it's a new it's a new blade, but as you can see, it's like 24 tooth. Yeah. Way too small of a tooth. Takes way too long. I have to get that fixed. But it came out pretty good. I mean, <clears throat> came out all right. Got to face it up. Put a face on it. Not too crooked. All right. Got it chucked up in the vise. Got my small flywheel. Hopefully this comes out okay. Yep, still got a little bit of wobble. I'm guessing 20 thou, maybe less. Try one more time. Just got it back off the mill. It's a little hard to see, but it's about 10 thou, 15 thou of a gap. A little bit undersized. That way, when I put a bolt through it, it would suck down and clamp onto that Picatinny rail. See? Alright. I'm just going to eyeball it and try to get it close. Just want to knock off the front, the front corner. There it is. Well, so this happened. Took it apart. Just super dirty, nasty up in here in these rails. So, it's kind of hard to see. Decided to stop and just take it all apart. Get it all done with now. Don't have to worry about it for a while. Super gross. Alright. Let's put back together. Nice and clean. I had to index that the clamp again. Nice and straight. 
well, straight enough for me. And I got fasteners. Just got the back from Home Depot. I've got stainless. Hopefully that's not too rough on the aluminum, but I guess we'll find out. I don't really care. It'd be good enough for me. see if it fits <gasps> perfect awesome deeper around the edge and call that good That lines up pretty good, huh? I like it. Alright, and I got it on the AR-15. Just a snug fit, finger tight. But that is... solid. Okay, I'm back. Now let's, uh... go ahead and drill out the sight. The hole for the back sight for today that's for sure mm-hmm